The 2S7 Pion is a 203mm self-propelled gun. This artillery system was first observed by Western intelligence in 1975. It is the most powerful conventional artillery system in the world. It was designed to engage remote and important enemy targets, such as hostile command posts and fortified positions. The 2S7 Pion entered service with the Soviet Army in 1976. This artillery system was exported to Czechoslovakia and Poland. Czechoslovak Army operated 12 units, that were delivered in 1984. These were retired in 1994. Poland obtained 6 units in 1985. The Polish systems were withdrawn in 2006. After collapse of the Soviet Union the 2S7 and improved 2S7M systems were passed on to successor states. By around 2014 this artillery system is in service with Russia, 60 units, Belarus, 36 units in storage, Georgia, Ukraine, 99 units, and Uzbekistan, 48 units. Other operators are Angola, acquired 12 units from Czech Republic in 2000, Azerbaijan, acquired 12 units in 2008 to 2009. Ukraine had 99 of these artillery systems in storage. Due to the Russian military aggression in 2014 some of these artillery systems were restored and were eventually used used in combat. During the 2022 Russian invasion to Ukraine these artillery systems were used once again by both Russia and Ukraine. The 2S7 Pion is armed with a powerful 203mm gun, fitted with a load assisting system. It fires ordinary and rocket assisted HEFRAG shells concrete busting, chemical and nuclear shells. A standard HEFRAG shell weights 110 kg and contains 17.8 kg of explosives. It has a maximum range of 37.5 km. The rocket-assisted shell weights 103 kg and contains 13.8 kg of explosives. It has a maximum range of 47.5 km. Ammunition load of the 2S7 Pion consists of only 8 shells. Only 4 shells are carried by this artillery system, remaining 4 shells are carried by escorting vehicle. Maximum rate of fire is 1.5 shells per minute. Brief out of action time allows the Pion to fire 1 or 2 shells and leave its firing position even before the first shell hits its target located up to 47 km away. This shoot and scoot capability allows to avoid counter-battery fire. The only defensive armament carried by Pion, besides crew individual weapons, is a portable air defense missile launcher. The 2S7 Pion has a crew of 14. However only 7 crew members are seated inside the vehicle and remaining are carried by an escorting truck or armored personnel carrier. The 2S7 uses a track chassis, that was designed specifically for this artillery system. It uses a number of automotive components from the T-72 and T-80 main battle tanks. It is powered by a V-46-1 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 750 horsepower. This artillery system is also fitted with auxiliary power unit, developing 24 horsepower and powering all systems when the main engine is shut down. Extensive use of these 203mm self-propelled guns during the 2022 Russian invasion in Ukraine on both sides led to wearing out of these artillery systems. Notably their guns were worn out. Furthermore ammunition stocks for these artillery systems are running out. The 203mm ammunition is no longer produced anywhere, even in Russia. In 2023 images emerged that Ukrainians found a way to adapt US-made M106 203mm shells for their pions. These shells were used by the US M110 howitzers. Variants 2S7M Malka, improved variant of the 2S7 Pion, sometimes referred as Pion M. It has an improved fire control system. Rate of fire increased to 2.5 rounds per minute. It also carries 8 shells instead of 4. The 2S7M Malka entered service with the Soviet Army in 1983. 
Between 2020 and 2021 Russian Army refurbished and upgrading some of its 2S7M systems in order to keep them in operational service. New gearboxes and electrical systems were fitted, as well as new communication systems. In 2022 these artillery systems were used during the Russian invasion to Ukraine. BTM, 4M Tundra Trenching Machine. It is based on the 2S7 Pion or 2S7M Malka chassis. This machine is fitted with a rotary digger. This trench digger was introduced in 1997.